questions from the audience. Yes. Um, when did you decide on the story set in the, contem the contemporary story, and how did you decide how it would connect to the uh, story of the past? But you could have just kept it as a strictly a period film, or you could have even made a documentary. How did you decide on this particular direction? Why did you do the other options? Uh, we would like to tell the story as a memory, and we wanted to tell it as, uh, as some kind of lost memory, like the memory of the grand grandma in, in the story. And we think that is a really good way to approach the story. Uh, so we, um, uh, we like to make like make them two parallels, uh, time space, and to show people how that how they interact with each other. Then, there are many audiences who ask us, "Hey, uh, we use what method to make the feeling of the past very moving?" Uh, and uh, many people were touched by the ending of the film and we would like to we that was our hope to sort of make people believe what was happening in the past was real so people would uh, have more emotional attachment to the, the characters. Uh, next question. In the back? Yep. Um, do you see a revival of Highway Behind the Film? Are you working with it for the uh, revival movement? Are you seeing other films in Highway Behind the Film becoming popular? Behind the Film becoming popular? Uh, 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 比较多的观众习惯进行戏院，他们看一个呃台语的语言跟台语生活的的电影。呃，for uh, now in Taiwan, uh, the contemporary uh, audience they do actually enjoy going to the theater and see and watch a film about people speaking in the dialect and about uh, the lives of people speaking the dialect. 我台湾电影因为经过十年新浪潮的原因，然后其实观众他们比较相信台湾生活在电影里是真实的，所以在这几年慢慢开始，我们我们尝试着让观众可以去想象过去的台湾台湾的生活还可以有多想象。Because of the Taiwan Taiwanese new way for the past ten years, people tend to like realistic kind of uh, depiction of films. But recently, more and more new directors, they are trying to bring more imagination into movies. We are just trying to work on uh, making the audience get used to genre films which is not exactly the same with real life. Next question. Yes? Is this your opinion based on any real person or occurrence? <laughs> It was not based on real character. No one was really like that. But uh, the the actor playing Mr. Pig and his wife, they were they used to be very famous talk show hosts. So we try to bring back this kind of comedic, uh, funny uh, interaction. Uh, 
啊，他们的脱口秀最出名就是就是打巴掌，对，而且是打成这样。So the one of the most famous segment of their talk show is to hit the other person on the is to slap the other person and real hard, and it's not a fake, so they bring back that kind of memory. 所以有时有时候在片场我们忘记喊他的时候，本来不应该打的，但是就是来不及喊他，他已经打下去了。Because sometimes we were on set and we we forgot to set cut, and they will actually just finish the slapping. Ah, he is our childhood, very important memory. Ah, our childhood sleeping time. Their recording is very popular. So in this film, he is a bit of a representation of my childhood. He's uh, he's one of my most valuable memories during my childhood because I used to own all their video, uh, their cassettes, and I would listen to them all the time.